Um, yeah, we have a principle at Sheffield Buddhist Centre that we only ever talk about um, the centre's finances once a year in the autumn, and this is that once a year. So, um, yeah, I'd like to just give you an update about how the centre is faring financially in these very, very strange times. So, as you can imagine, the centre has lost some quite important sources of income. Uh, we can't run, we haven't been running Tai Chi or... Uh, or, or, or yoga classes, which are an important source of income. And we haven't been able to run the sort of big newcomers classes that we, that we normally do, which bring in quite a lot of donations. So income is down. Um, and at the same time, we've had extra expenses. So we've bought the marquee that's on the lawn or in the process of doing so, extra audio visual equipment, et cetera. So there's extra expenses as well. Um, but despite all that, despite all that, surprisingly, the situation is not that bad, actually. It's not that bad. And there are three reasons for this, really. The first reason is that, you know, over time we have been, you know, we've been careful, we've been conservative and built up some reserves to tide us over just such an unforeseen event as this. So we do have some reserves. Um, the second reason is that the centre team, the core centre team, is currently two people understaffed really, two people less than it should be. Um, so we're, um, it's costing us less um, in support. Uh, outgoings are also less. And thirdly, and most importantly, we're not in real immediate danger because we run on a Dana economy, uh, an economy of generosity. And for those of you who are relatively new to the center, this means that we offer all Buddhist events completely free of charge including things like um, um, residential retreats. We're not able to offer those at the moment, but they can cost us thousands of pounds to put on and we offer them free of charge. Um, and that is possible, this, this dana economy of making everything completely free, everything Buddhist completely free, is possible because the people who teach at the center and keep it running do so either for no payment as their practice of generosity or for the very barest level of support. Um, the last I knew about it, the support averaged £10,000 a year. Um, so that's one of the things that makes the generosity economy possible is the generosity of the people who sort of make the center happen, if you like, who run, run classes and keep it going. And the second condition that makes the donor economy possible is the generosity of the many, many people who make a regular donation to the centre. So people often say there's something a bit special about Sheffield Buddhist Centre. There's a spirit of friendliness, community, a feeling of being part of a shared project, even a sense of a bit of excitement about what's going on here. People from other centres have often commented on it. And a big part of the reason for that is the dana economy. The Dana economy makes us a community based on generosity. Lots of different generosity from lots of different people giving in their own sort of different way. Makes us that a community rather than a business run on the marketing principle that I will do something for you, but only if you do something for me. Um, it makes us partners in a common project rather than service providers and customers. Makes us a Dharmic community. And that is why Sheffield Buddhist Centre feels the way it does. Most other Buddhist centres support themselves by charging for all their classes and events. Um, and centres that support themselves that way are often having a very hard time due to COVID um, because people just haven't been able to attend, and not in any sort of numbers. Whereas we are not that badly off. Um, the generosity of our Sangha continues even when people cannot be at the centre in person. So for the time being, we're OK because of your generosity, our generosity as a community. So I'd like to take this opportunity to really warmly thank all of you who help support the centre by making regular donations to it through a standing order. And I'd also like to thank those people who've increased their standing order or made extra one-off donations in response to what's going on, which a number of people have, out of concern for the centre. So you know who you are. Thank you for that. 
So despite us losing some income and having some extra cost, things are not desperate. They could be better. They could be better. We're eating into our reserves, which can't go on forever. The core centre team is two people down. So folks are stretched and overworked. I think they're doing an absolutely marvellous job of adapting to this situation. Um, but it would be a great help if we could afford to give them some help. Um, so if you've not already got a standing order to the centre, if you don't already support us that way, and you can afford to help in that way, and you want to help in that way, please do think seriously about setting up a standing order with your bank. There is absolutely no obligation. There is no should about this. You are very, very welcome to benefit from the centre completely free. Uh, we do what we do in the hope that people benefit, not so that they give us money. And generosity is not real generosity unless it's freely given. But if you can help in this way and you want to do so, please do. Any amount will be appreciated. I'm, out of, I'm completely out of date with this, I'm sorry, but I think donations at the moment range from about three pounds a month upwards and that the average is maybe about 20. I don't know, somebody can give me a thumbs up if that's right. It won't be that far off. The average being about 20. So if you would like to take out a standing or you don't already have one, it would be really helpful. If you already have a standing order at the center, you might think about increasing it if you can, if you want to. Um, cool. But at the moment, I am not here to shout for help. Um, not at the moment. We only shout for help when we really need help. There have been two occasions in the past where we really needed help, and the Sangha responded tremendously. Once, we doubled our standing order income in three months when we said that that was what was needed. Um, but I'm not... Yeah, so the Sangha responded tremendously, but I am not shouting for help now. Not now, but these are very uncertain times. They're very uncertain times. We just don't know what is going to happen with the pandemic or with the economy. It's possible that something completely unforeseen will happen. We don't know. So it's possible that in the future we will need to ask your help. And we usually have this principle that we only talk about money once a year, but that might happen before next autumn. Um, we might have to come back to you before next autumn. Um, I hope not. I think probably not, but we just don't know. And if that does happen, please do respond, because if we ask for help, it will really mean that we really do need your help to keep going. Thank you.